Namaskar. Welcome to the Embassy Weekly Online. And first of all, we would like to wish a Merry Christmas for those who celebrated it on December 25th. May your life be full of happiness and joy. As the New Year holidays, which by the way includes Orthodox Christmas, which we celebrate on January 7, getting closer, you can really feel the festive mood in the cities of Russia, as there are thousands of bright colored lights and decorated Christmas trees there. People just can't wait to celebrate, and our embassy is not the exception. Just look at the festive illumination. We're all set to greet the year 2022 with all its new opportunities and beginnings, including in the context of further promoting our special and privileged strategic partnership with our Indian friends. By the way, we would like to thank those who took part in our recent online contest. We'll soon reach out for you to forward our gifts. The right answer was Fyodor Dostoevsky, one of the most prominent Russian writers whose bicentenary we just marked this November. Well, now let's uh, recap the most topical news of the week. On December 20th, Russian President Vladimir Putin had a telephone conversation with Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi. Vladimir Putin warmly thanked uh, Narendra Modi for the hospitality extended to the Russian delegation during the high-level visit to New Delhi on December 6. They discussed practical aspects of implementing the agreements reached at the talks and expressed mutual intent for the further multifaceted development of relations of the special and privileged strategic partnership between Russia and India. They continued the exchange of views on issues of international stability and security, including the situation in the Asia-Pacific region. Russian President and Prime Minister of India congratulated each other on the upcoming New Year holidays. It was also agreed to intensify bilateral contacts in various spheres. During the annual press conference on December 23rd, Russian President Vladimir Putin answered a wide range of questions related to crucial international and domestic matters. He touched upon such topics as Russia's relations with NATO, the situation in Ukraine, gas supplies to Europe, and shed light on Moscow's ties with other members of the global community. The issue of security proposals rolled out by Moscow earlier this month emerged as well, with the Russian leader having assessed the reaction from the West as largely positive. He said that both sides have uh, picked their negotiators and discussions are expected to kick off in Geneva early next year. Vladimir Putin expressed a hope that the negotiations would follow a constructive path, but underscored that the ball is now in the West's court, recalling how often Russia has been deceived by Western countries. Our actions will depend not on the negotiations, but on the unconditional security of Russia today and in the future. In this regard, we have made it absolutely clear that NATO's expansion to the East is unacceptable. What's, what's not clear about it? We are not the ones that uh, deploy missiles next to the United States borders. That's the other way around. The United States brought their missiles next to our borders. They are at our threshold. Are we excessive in our demands not to put any more offensive weapons next to our home? What's so unusual about this request? On December 21st, Russian President Vladimir Putin took part in the annual expanded meeting of the Defense Ministry Board, convened to uh, evaluate the results of the ministry's activities in 2021 and set goals for the next year. Addressing the audience, the president underlined that Moscow reserves the right to undertake adequate military technical measures in response to the unfriendly steps. I want to emphasize, we have every right to do so. We have every right to take actions designed to ensure the security and sovereignty of Russia, he said. Vladimir Putin also pointed out how Washington had done toughest uh, things without any UN Security Council sanction. With regard to Iraq, he said that the United States has uh, destroyed the country and created the hotbed of international terrorism, later only justifying its uh, mistakes with intelligence failures. Among other topics in his speech at the event, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu especially noted that India remains one of uh, Russia's main partners in terms of the military technical cooperation. Russia is not interested in conflicts and doesn't want a war, but will strictly ensure its security by those means that it considers appropriate, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said in an interview on international issues to the Russia Today TV channel on December 22nd. Our philosophy has been well known for a long time now. It can be found in the lines of a popular song titled Do Russians Want a War? We do not want a war. 
President Putin conveyed this repeatedly. We don't need conflicts and we hope that no one else sees conflicts as a preferable course of action, stressed the minister. The path of uh, confrontation is not our choice. It is up to our partners. I see the fact that the leadership of the United States has rather promptly agreed with us upon the organizational framework for further steps, despite a serious uh, amount of work to be done on the substance of the issue, as a positive uh, step in the run-up to the new year, added Mr. Lavrov. Just to remind you that the Russian Foreign Ministry published drafts of a treaty with the United States on security guarantees and an agreement between Russia and the NATO member states on security measures, which uh, were handed over to the American side during the meeting in the Russian Foreign Ministry on December 15. The text is available at the link. The minister also touched upon the unprecedented discrimination of the Russian media in Europe, especially in France and Germany. Situation in Ukraine, uh, Syria, Latin America, MH17 tragedy, talks on the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, and many more. Full text of the minister's interview you can find here. On December 20th, the main construction uh, period of the sixth uh, unit of the Kudankolam nuclear power plant was officially launched with the first concreting of the reactor's uh, foundation slab. Vice President of the Rosatom State Corporation Engineering Division Andrei Lebedev stated that the first two NPP units are demonstrating sustainable operation at the nominal power level. He reminded that in June this year the first concrete was laid at the power unit number 5 and noted that the third stage of the Kudankolama NPP relating to the main construction period will provide additional power capacity to ensure the industrial and commercial development of businesses in the Tamil Nadu region and the Republic of India as a whole. He also underlined that such developments will promote more confidence in our friendly country's prospects to expand peaceful nuclear cooperation by using the most advanced projects of uh, high-capacity nuclear power units of the Russian design. Vladimir Tolstoy, advisor to the Russian president on culture and uh, great-grandson of Leo Tolstoy, the great Russian writer, was on a visit in India from December 17 to 19. Together with Mrs. Ekaterina Tolstaya, director of Jasna Palena, it is Leo Tolstoy Museum Estate, and Dr. Galina Alekseva, Jasna Palena, head of research, he took part in a conference dedicated to the letters correspondence between Leo Tolstoy and Mahatma Gandhi, which was held in uh, Gandhi Smriti on uh, December 17. In his address, Vladimir Tolstoy noted that humanitarian ties between our countries should continue to expand on the basis of the richest history of bilateral contacts remaining a crucial support in further advancement of the Russian-Indian special and privileged strategic partnership. During his stay in New Delhi, he also had discussions related to the Russian language studies in India and the ways to boost further cooperation between Yasna Palana and the Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts. That would be all for today. Thank you very much for watching us. Stay tuned to our website and social media and see you online.